everybody. Uh, it is a great honor of having such opportunity uh, on RubyConf. I'm really, really nervous because I didn't expect such a great hall uh, where I should <laughs> give a talk. Uh, the title of my talk is MRB slash C, uh, running on less than 64 kilo by kilobyte RAM microcontroller, but I shouldn't fix that. I, I'm Hasumi, uh, please call me Hasumi. I live in Matsu City, uh, which is a holy place of Ruby, because Matsu lives there, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I love sake and the soba and the coffee. And do you know soba? So, uh, oh, oh, Polish people doesn't know and didn't know soba at all. <laughs> but American people uh, know it. Uh, this is Monster Lab, which I'm uh, working for. Uh, I ha we have many branch offices in the world, and one of them is Fuzz. They are making uh, Shack Up, you know, Shack Up. I, I haven't tried it yet, but uh, I'm trying to, uh, it, I'm trying it uh, on Friday, I think. I'm, I usually participate in Matsue.rb. This castle is Matsue Castle, built in 1611. Uh, let's go, my subject. Uh, chapter one, introduction. Uh, let me explain some words, uh, what, I, what we should know. First, MRB slash C is a language implementation I'll talk about today. Uh, I say MRB C, just MRB C, since Slash C is hard to pronounce for me. So this pre in this presentation, I say just MVC. Microcontroller is small computer contains CPU, memory, and the programmable I/O peripherals. RTOS stands for Real Time OS. It is usually used for microcontroller, uh, but I don't use it today. But I will cover in a topic later. Uh, the word task is almost equivalent to thread in Linux. We say task in microcontroller world. This is very important. Remember, Asahi Shuzo uh, is one of the best Japanese sake brewery. <laughs> <laughs> Shuzo means sake brewery. And it's, it, it doesn't no concern, uh, ha, have no concern with Asahi brewery, which is famous for super dry beer. Uh, then Asahi Shizu and I make an IoT system using MRBC. Now, let me explain why I use microcontroller. Because, uh, no, I don't use single, computer, single board computer like Raspberry Pi for production environment, production deployment. Because uh, I use microcontroller, uh, it, it, it starts immediately right after plugged in. Uh, in my case, end users are brewery workers. They can use it uh, very simply, you know, like home electrical appliance. Uh, all things they should do is turn them off and turn them on. That's it. And microcontroller can run without OS, any OS, including RTOS, Linux, or Windows. Uh, it is called bare metal. Uh, if you use microcontroller without OS, you can narrow security issue list down because many a malware aims Linux or Windows platform. And you don't need to consider unnecessary demo and after upgrade, and after upgrade or YAM update. Uh, that's more. This is uh, the most important thing, I think. Low, e low energy. It's really overheated. Uh, so you have many choices of power supply, things like small batteries or solar cells. And microcontroller is also suitable for mass production. You can choose appropriate chipset for your application so that uh, you minimize the cost. Uh, there are so many different models of microcontroller out there. Uh, I, will, I will introduce two of them. First is Cypress PSOC 5LP. This is what I use for sake brewery. 
Uh, it has 64 kilobyte RAM. And 64 kilobyte is target size of MMBC. It, represent, it can be represented by 16 bits integer. The second one, uh, you may know this, ESP32. This is a very popular one recently. Uh, I'll show you a demonstration with it later. Um, then about my IoT project. <coughs> it is IoT project for sake brewing. I use PSOC 5LP for it. And it was delivered to actual brew work in January 2018. Our devices post temperature of sake ingredient in brewing and, and surrounding temperature and humid, humidity of the server. That data is displayed on mobile app. They are now steaming rice. And she is now bringing rice mold up in a thermostat room. Um, the rice can obtain, um, how can I say, natural lactic acid from the air uh, and from the wood, wooden uh, stuff uh, in this way. And this is my, uh, these, are, these are my first version of uh, IoT device. Uh, now they are sensing temperature. And this is the second version. Uh, looks much cooler, really. <laughs> <laughs> And this is the smartphone app. app. The te temperature of the ingredient, uh, which is more than 42 degrees. 42 degrees is equivalent to uh, approximate more than 100 degrees Fahrenheit, I think. Uh, even though the room is 31. So it, it reaches very hot. And by the way, IoT in field makes you hurry. Please imagine that you have to go back and forth between dark, cold storage cellar and the humid, very hot rice mold room, it thermostat room. And there are weary workers run around and shout around because uh, brewing sake is a fight against time. What if you have to mend your firmware with your small laptop in 10 minutes on site? Imagine, you will thank Ruby's descriptiveness and agility. You will figure it out uh, after listening my talk, <laughs> I think. <laughs> and this is the first and the only sake labeled with Ruby because this sake was brewed with Ruby. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure, but you'll be able to drink this sake if you come to Ruby Kaigi 2020. <laughs> Is it correct, Mr. Akira Matsuda-san? Yes. Oh, yes. I hope you all to come to Japan next year, in April. This is the best season to visit Japan. And I'll show you a demo about CO2 concentration. CO2 concentration, uh, 40, 400 ppm is atmospheric level. And 1,000, uh, if it reaches 1,000, your programming speed starts to decrease. <laughs> and the tomatoes require CO2 uh, because of the what photosynthesis, right? Photosynthesis. Mm. And more than 2,000, you feel sleepiness or probably headache. And you're no longer active uh, if it's 40,000. Well, please look at the screen here. Oh, 
this is CO2 sensor, and this is ESP32. Now it reports CO2 value oh, for us. No. Now it reports uh, 1,294 ppm. And my device is taking currently uh, CO2 concentration. Uh, CO2 may increase because of your breathing. Uh, so I will prove that it is due to uh, CO2 if you fell asleep while I was speaking. <laughs> I promise you. <laughs> Uh, by the way, there are so many lovely bugaboos in IoT development. Things like uh, peripheral equipment, uh, circuit wiring problem, and housing problem. It, it contains a water problem. And a printed circuit board, it called a PCB. And soldering and writing firmware with C or MRB or MicroPython, I don't know. And network problem. I'll cover three of them today. This is uh, peripheral equipment. It is very important to check uh, the part, each part, before writing application code. Uh, the equipment, like sensor or communication module, work as its spec sheets. And whether or not the equipment is broken, uh, combining parts is unrevered we don't have Git for hardware. So this is very important to check this. So I often make uh, such stuff for just experiment with Raspberry Pi and CRB. Note this. This is CRB, not MRB. This, this is CRB code for uh, creating shell to communicate with uh, UART ser serial protocol. Uh, using such uh, Ruby has Ruby serial gem, and we say something to module, and it responds something. Th this is the outcome. If I say AT, uh, it, it speaks AT commands, assuming. Uh, if I say AT, it replies OK. If I, I say 80 plus CIMI, it replies some unique identifier. And if I say command which doesn't exist, uh, it reports error. And this is soldering the most big, biggest bugaboo. Uh, this is surface mounting part, which has 0 0.8 millimeter pH pins. It, it often works even if you leave a pin unsoldered on the surface mounting. And because the pin touches uh, on circuit plate, plate, right? Then it will come not to work one day. Uh, this is my actual case. Discovering this kind of bug is much more difficult than software bug. I remember my teacher said, all the cause of failure, it is impatience. Chapter two, MRBC. And before that, what is MRBC? MRB? Uh, before MRBC, uh, let's review of MRB. MRB is another implementation of Ruby for general embedded usage. It is easily combined with system programming like C, C++, Rust, Go. Uh, it is also good for making command line tool as one binary executable. So what is MRVC? MRVC is yet another implementation of MRuby. Slash C symbolizes compact, concurrent, and capability. It is especially dedicated to one chip microcontroller. This is uh, a comparison between MRB and MRB C uh, from the viewpoint of processing stack. 
uh, if you, uh, this byte call are the same, literally same, because we compile it uh, by MRBC, MRB compiler, which Matt Sun make. Uh, and each VM, MRB VM executes the byte call as a task. And on the other hand, MRBC has another VM, another implementation of VM. This VM executes the byte call as a task. Byte call is a kind of intermediate representation. MRuby byte call is designed for MRuby VM. MRuby VM dynamically interprets the byte call and processes the application. Uh, this is how it looks like byte call. If you compile put s hello world, you can get this, this byte call. Uh, this is hexadecimal dump. It looks like this. Uh, if you use MRuby, not MRBC, you, if you use MRuby on microcontroller, you should use RTOS uh, so that manage VMs uh, in order to realize multitasking. RTOS manages multiple VMs. On the other hand, MRBC on microcontroller, MRBC has its own, own mechanism to manage multitasking, and it is RRT0. RRT0 means Ruby runtime zero, but I don't, I don't know what exactly means zero. I, I think it's tra traditional naming. And this is a comparison table between MRuby and MRBC. MRBC is uh, three, be three years behind from MRuby. MRuby MRubyC's RAM consumption is one-fifth of MRuby in general. It depends, but in general, one-fifth memory consumption. And MRubyC's virtual machine is much smaller than MRuby's one. That's why MRBC runs on smaller RAM, things like 64 kilobyte or 32 kilobyte. Accordingly, MRBC has less functionality than MRB, and naturally than CRB. So how less? For example, MRBC doesn't have a module. Therefore, uh, there is no kernel module. So you, you, you must wonder, uh, how can you put S? How can you do that? In MRBC, put S is implemented in object class. MRBC doesn't have um, dynamic features like send, evil, and method missing, or trace point, blah, blah, blah. The, this is actual full list of MRBC classes. This is very few, right? <laughs> array, false class, fix now, float, hash, math, mutex, new class, numeric object, proc, range, string, symbol, trucus. VM is the exclusive one for MRBC. But uh, in spite of the fact, no problem in practical usage of microcontroller, I think. As far as IoT goes, MRBC is enough Ruby uh, as we expect. Now, we can fully develop formulas with these features of MRB slash C. Uh, this is just uh, uh, basics of, of how, illustrate, how, uh, explain the basics of MRB C. We write this main C. We write main C and RB files. And MRB compiler and compiles RB file into C file. So we write main C and RB file. We don't write uh, SRC task one C. Uh, we, we don't write this. 
Uh, and main C in includes bytecode at this. And we can specify heap size which MRV VM uses in the next line. And the MRV C init function uh, allocates heap memory we specified just before. Then uh, we use this function twice to make tasks. This is the preparation uh, for multitasking. And finally, MVC run function starts multitasks concurrently. And this is how to use it. Uh, we can run easily multiple VMs with concurrent feature of RRT0. And you might be disappointed to know you have to write C. Main C, main dot C. Yes, uh, y y we have to write main C, but uh, it is almost a boilerplate code, so no worry, y you can do it. <laughs> I can do it. Uh, chapter three: uh, application code and tools. This is the repository of the today's demo. Uh, Please check it later if you any concern. This is how look uh, the actual code uh, where I'm now demonstrating. It has two infinite loops and has three models. You can imagine them. What are them from the name, right? CO2 and the LED and the thermistor. thermistor is sensor for temperature. Uh, this is the primary infinite loop. It initializes three models like this. I, I write uh, CO2 and the thermistor as global variables because another loop, another thread, another task uses it uh, so that uh, coordinate them with, with it. And in the while true loop, uh, it reports whether CO2 is above a certain value, 2000 in this case, by LED flashing inside an infinite loop. But how does LED turn on work? Look back, looking back. How does LED turn on back, uh, turn on work? Uh, LED model is now pretty simple. Initialize method, method initialize a pin. And turn on method set that pin high level and turn off method set low that's it but it's doubtful right no why so simple <laughs> if you think the secret is in the c code you are correct this ruby method a rubber method for c function If, if you are familiar with MRI, MRI CRB internal, you can see the same thing. Uh, we can define Ruby method by MRBC define method function. And in, in this case, this method uh, defined in object class. We can define methods in any class in this way. CO2 model is rather complicated, but basically the same. CO2 module requires uh, us to write, write this form of command, this form, according to the spec sheet. And after writing, 
right, right to, uh, from microcontroller to uh, CO2 sensor. Uh, there, are, there is right command where, 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 where uh, you are to write bytes. After writing, we can retrieve the value of CO2 in this line. And in this case, I made an array object of MRBC array. This is MRBC's object, uh, which has nine, nine lengths. And in for loop, uh, this convert on the C language array into uh, MRBC array and return it. This is how get CO2 value works. And in Ruby side, on the other hand, CO2 model calculates CO2 concentration using the array which C code returns uh, in this line. Uh, this upper, this condition is, is uh, checking whether CO2 sensor is working or not. This is just a trivial tip to reduce memory usage. Uh, C function can return string object instead of array. Uh, I use array object, but you can use string object because uh, MRBC array new allocates uh, larger memory than MRBC string. So you can use a string object instead of array object if memory becomes short. This is very natural. Uh, you can remember string of C is just an array of a character. So we, I, we can use string for this. And this Ruby model is work as well because this is Ruby, right? And the wall of the secondary loop is sending data to server. Uh, concatenating string object, it's much, much easier than C, as you know. <laughs> Thank you, Mats. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let me introduce uh, several tools for developing MRB slash C. Uh, I myself made these three tools in order to make development MVC application smart. In other words, uh, I'm trying to make it rubbish. Rubbish means, in my humble opinion, uh, based on Unix or Linux and using command line, and no ID as far as possible because uh, from your developing uses uses. Uh, ID in general, uh, in graphical user interface, so uh, you can't use Mac OS in general uh, in, on the Cypress PSOC 5LB. In short, uh, taking full advantage of our laptop and Ruby world. First thing is MVC utils. Uh, this is one binary tool made with MRuby. It helps to install boilerplate of application. This is the key feature, but uh, I don't introduce the deeper on that. Uh, it has utility subcommands like, um, subcommands classes shows all the class list of MRubyC. And subcommand methods shows all the method of but uh, specified, specified uh, class array in this case. Next, MRB test. This is an unit testing framework. Uh, this is a Ruby gem implemented with C Ruby. Uh, it supports stub and mock and basic assertions. Um, it, it is now official testing tool uh, of MRB C dev team. 
and we see te test works like this. Uh, gather the information from app code and test code and internally generate stub and mock methods and it makes all in one script test RB. Then MVC compiler compile it into bytecode. And C compiler, for example, GCC, uh, build, builds bytecode and MVC VM into test executable. And if you run this, it reports the result. Uh, the lower side is in internal things. So you can use it just to normal Ruby testing framework. And this is the third one, MVC debugger. Uh, this is another uh, Ruby gem implemented in C Ruby. It is de debugger for infinite loop. Uh, it works like this. This is animation GIF. And there are two tasks uh, coordinating each other. And we, we can, uh, you, you can visually see the execution flow such as the coordination of global variables and between tasks and mutex. Oh, I can write that. Mutex which controls the exclusive processing. Uh, moreover, you can make breakpoints, breakpoints like this. And set, set and get local variables in the bottom of the screen. This is what I'm making for, MVC. Um, oh, go back to the CO2 demo. How about C CO2, which? Oh. It is. 1,231 ppm, so-so. <coughs> mm, mm, but it's not bad ventilation facility this room has. Uh, so conclusion, you should refresh here. <laughs> Thank you for paying attention. Thank you so much.